Welcome back to the time warp. This is weird, isn't it? It's just been seconds for me. It could have been a long period of time for you. I just kept going. Anyway, counting on the 20. Continuing our discussion on financial analysis. Our next goal, and that is to evaluate the business's performance based on vertical analysis. What exactly do you think that is? It shows the relationships of one item to another item, that other item being the base amount. There's a formula for this. It's a formula for everything, isn't it? Except for, well, we'll just stop there. I'm not going to stop there. I wish there was a formula for raising kids, don't you? Well, anyway, there isn't, but there is for this. And our formula is a specific item divided by the base item. And if you'd like, you can times that by 100 so you can see it in percents. I usually do. This makes it perfect for a spreadsheet. Once again, I'm going to use the income statement because I really like to use the income statement on a horizontal and vertical analysis. I guess it comes from my days of being an auditor. And I'm going to do it both for a year and for a trend. So you can see me affecting this on a trend basis as well. Let me give you some facts so you don't have to sit here while I write all of that down. Let's do it for 2012 first. I am going to use sales as my base and it's 100%. I picked a number that we can just do in our heads for the first one to see. Since it's a, just a flat out 10,000, I can just drop some zeros and do my percent. 6,000 divided by 10,000. 000. It's going to give you 60%. This time you can just do your math down 4,000 divided by 10,000 equals 40%. 2,500 divided by 10,000, and that's right, I'm using 10,000 as my base, is 25%. And 1,500 divided by 10,000 is going to be 15%. And in this case, you can't just do the math straight down. 100% minus 60% is 40% minus 25% is 15%. And you look at an income statement in terms of what percent each number is of sales. The real power of this comes in trend analysis because it really shouldn't change that much over a period of time. Go ahead and now you calculate the percents. I did 2012. You do 2013 using cells as 100%. Put me on pause and go ahead and figure it out. When turned into percents, 2013 shows that cost of goods sold is slightly less than it was last year. Last year it was 60, this year's 58. Which turned into gross profit being higher. That can only be a good thing. That's an unrealistically big move, the one I picked. Shows our operating expenses increased a little bit. And um, we would want to look at why. Maybe that's in advertising and it's going to turn into increased sales. Or maybe it's just a nasty increase in overhead and we need to catch it. Let's put some numbers down for 2014 and 15. And I had some trouble with that. Let's see if you can figure out 2014 now. 2015. Kind of got a little sloppy with my dollar signs on 2015. Hopefully you can follow it. Go ahead. And using sales as 100% in both cases, restate the numbers underneath as a percent of sales. So the number divided by sales. Go. I'm going to show you how I did 2014 sales. 18,000 divided by 18,000 equals 100%. Then I did cost of goods sold, 10,700 divided by 18,000 equals 59%. 
Then I did gross profit, 7,300 divided by 18 equals 41%. Notice you could have just come straight down and done the math on vertical analysis that works. Then I took my remaining expenses and divided it by sales, because sales is the number I'm using as my base. It's 28%. And I did net income, 2250 divided by 18,000 equals 12.5%. Go ahead now and you do 215 and we'll take a look at what we have. So here we have trend analysis done on a vertical basis using sales of 100% for four years. I'm going to focus on gross profit. Gross profit in 2012 was 40%. It increased to 42% for 2013. Backed off a little 41% and back to 40% for 2015. These numbers, as a general rule, show that although we're getting bigger, we're, our gross profits remaining constant. Just because you get bigger doesn't mean that your sales are going to, your sales dollars are going to go up. This to me looks like we've done a pretty good job of keeping our cost of goods home. The same level of increase as our sales. Now let's move to our operating expense line. Was 25%, jumped to 27, jumped to 28. I don't like that trend. Our expenses seem to be getting a little out of hand, but they're back down to 26. So we'll come back in line for 2015. Let's take a look at our profit margin. 15%, 15%, 12.5. That's a little troubling. Glad to see it come back to 15.5 in 2015. Got a little had, out of hand in 2014. And you can tell exactly why. Operating expenses got a little out of hand. So here was a trend analysis as well as just a vertical analysis. And let me ask you something. How does this make you feel? Are you in the warm and fuzzy camp? Or are you in the cold and prickly camp? It's an art, not a science. And for me, I'm kind of warm and fuzzy. Although I see a little bit of a trend of expenses getting out of whack for 2014. They did a nice job of pulling it back together. Vertical analysis is a favorite of auditors and management because it looks at the relationship of one account to another over time. And really, those relationships should hold or be able to be explained. If you see a big change, it could point out an error or a potential problem. On the other hand, it could point out areas that have improved or perhaps where improvements are needed. What if we were looking at bad debts compared to sales? And in 2000, and let's put a few years here so we can see a trend. In 2012, as a percent of sales, bad debts were 2%. And in 2013, they were 3%. In 2014, they were 4%. In 2015, they were 5%. I want to have a chat with the credit manager and look at credit policies and credit granting policies. I see an opportunity for improvement. Maybe when I got in the general budget and looked, I would find accounts that were coded to the wrong place or an incorrect use of the bad debt allowance method of accounting. One doesn't know. What I like about vertical analysis is it points to an area where changes have occurred and I, as an auditor or manager, can figure out what that means. Thanks for joining me for my discussion on vertical analysis. Well, having you. Talk to you soon.